the St. Bernard is a very recognisable breed due to its famously large size and loving looks. These gentle giants are devoted companions, loyal to their family and kind in nature. In today's video, we'll be comparing this loving breed with the Great Dane, a large, strong breed that is a popular choice for many around the world. Welcome back to the Fenrir St. Bernard Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the St. Bernard, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect St. Bernard. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future St. Bernard video. So let's dive right into today's video and we'll look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The St. Bernard and the Great Dane have very different histories and origins. There is actually a lot of myth and legend surrounding the St. Bernard's history. It's believed that these large dogs originated in Switzerland and were used in the Alps as search and rescue dogs. Traditionally, St. Bernard's were thought to have originated in a monastery hospice in the Swiss Alps in the 11th century, but the breed's first verifiable appearance at the monastery, or elsewhere for that matter, was around 600 years later. So there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this, which has given space for myths and legends to be created about the dogs. Many researchers and experts believe that they were first bred intended as watchdogs at the monastery, but as they started to show their incredible rescue abilities, they were then used as mountain search and rescue dogs. To this day, monks will have a St. Bernard as a companion at the monastery, simply out of tradition. There have been drawings of the Great Dane found on Egyptian artefacts dating back to 3000 BC and in temples that were built around 2000 BC. Also, it's thought that similar dogs originated in Tibet, according to written reports in Chinese literature. But it's thought that these dogs travelled in and across several parts of the world with the Assyrians who traded the dogs to the Greeks and Romans, which then led to breeding with local dogs. Ancestors of the English Mastiff, an Irish Wolfhound and Irish Greyhound are believed to have played a role in the development of the Great Dane. The Great Dane was first bred for hunting wild boar and became known as boarhounds. In the 1600s, German nobility kept the large and handsome dogs in their homes. They were pampered and treated like royalty. The name Great Dane came in the 1700s when a French naturalist went to Denmark and saw one of these dogs and called it the Great Danish Dog. And even though Denmark didn't develop the breed, the name just stuck. Male Great Danes stand between 30 and 34 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh around 120 to 200 pounds. Female Danes are usually between 28 to 32 inches and weigh 100 to 130 pounds too. They have short smooth coats which are usually of six main colours which are brindle, fawn, blue, black, harlequin and mantle. Male St. Bernards stand at 28 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh 140 to 180 pounds whilst females are 26 to 28 inches and weigh up to 120 to 140 pounds. Too. The St. Bernard's coat can be found as two different variations, short haired and long haired. The short haired coat is smooth but very dense and is slightly bushy on the thighs with a long haired tail that becomes shorter towards the end. Then the long haired coat has a slight wave to it and the forelegs have featherings while the thighs and tails are very bushy. St. Bernard's can be a variety of shades of red with white or white with red and patches and markings on the dog can differ between individuals. The signature dark markings on a St. Bernard's head and ears resemble a mask and are extremely desirable to many St. Bernard lovers. You should brush your St. Bernard a few times each week in order to remove loose hair and keep their coats looking healthy. As with a lot of larger and purebred dog breeds, the St. Bernard can be more prone to certain health conditions. The St. Bernard can struggle with hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems, epilepsy, heart conditions, allergies and stomach issues. Great Danes are also generally healthy but can be prone to certain health conditions too. This could include development issues, hip dysplasia, bloat, bone cancer and heart diseases. The average lifespan of a Dane is usually around 7 to 10 years. Great Danes that are well bred and properly trained are incredibly gentle, sweet and affectionate family companions. They love their family and long to be with them whenever they can. They're a very social dog and so with plenty of socialisation in puppyhood will welcome strangers happily. Although if they feel that you or another member of the family could be in danger, they will defend and protect until they're sure you're safe. 
They're known to be very relaxed with children and extremely gentle, which is important when they're such a large size. Some Great Danes definitely wish that they were a lapdog and will try their best to be as close to you as possible. They are loyal and thrive off the attention of their human companions. The Saint Bernard is famously known as the Gentle Giant and to be honest, it couldn't be any closer to the truth. They're kind and gentle natured dog with a loving and affectionate personality with plenty of patience for all members of the family, especially children. They love their families and been given lots of attention but they're not massively demanding in that way. They are friendly and welcoming dogs with a steady, kind and careful temperament. St Bernards are very aware and in tune with their owners and their surroundings. Their affectionate personality can mean that these big dogs forget just how big they are when focused on getting love and affection from their human companion. They will still try to get on your lap for a cuddle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated St. Bernard videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir St. Bernard Show.